I will start with the motivation for writing the section and in some ways the reason for creating this course. I have overall experience of 16 years in IT industry, a non-computer science master's, and I have held employee numbers from single digit to six digits. What my resume doesn't tell is the 125,000 kilometers or seven and a half thousand hours of commute and less than 60 leaves across all the jobs, undergraduate program and graduate program. At the end of every interview, I'm forced to ask myself, was this all worth the toil? And the answer differs many times. I always feel the interviewing process fails to add value to careers and perspectives. Hence putting down some observations that I felt might help someone traversing a similar trajectory of thoughts. It is hard to see all those years compressed in two pages and a couple of minutes of conversation that rarely peak interest during a job related conversation. Let's look at the observations. First, understanding software as a business is more crucial to your career than just getting a job that pays your bills. It will mostly require overclocking daily to acquire more relevant information beyond the daily coding tasks at your job. The deluge of overwhelming information via notifications of apps and newsletters can easily keep you distracted from the immediate goals for the coming years. Knowing everything about everything is often the recipe of getting nothing done. Know your place in the delivery chain and optimize your knowledge intake accordingly. Interview portals can help you sharpen your syntax skills, not software engineering skills. So be judicious with your time and money you invest in them. Interviewers are as human and fallible as the interviewees. But in an interview, only the candidates have the skin in the game. A famous fable that illustrates the point is that of the chicken and the pig going into the eggs and the ham business. It is definitely a generalization, but seems applicable in most cases based on what I know. Your interview feedback will be read, but not acted upon unless the majority of the aspirants raise similar concerns over a year or so. By then, your life should have moved on. This element, unless accepted explicitly, can keep manifesting as a constant source of demoralization throughout your career. Third, plan your career before jumping into serial job switching. Big brand names work when dealing with people, but compilers still demand absolute logic. Understand the balance and work on necessary aspects over a longer period of time. Learn more languages and frameworks. Understand the ethos of design and how it evolves at scale. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Jobs are scalers and a career is a vector. Build a solid work ethic that can stand the test of stressful times. Capacity to retain knowledge and complexity diminishes over the years. Figure out a way to make notes, documentation, and extend your knowledge base without necessarily increasing the access time beyond natural attrition. Interviewing is an artificial communication construct. Adapting to it might be excruciating but unavoidable. For someone like me who loves programming but not necessarily memorizes syntax, this is excruciating indeed. Share knowledge with people who can consistently provide constructive criticism over a long span of time. This means professional networking with utmost sincerity and purpose. Don't mix your critics and friends, that is, find specialist critics who may not be in your immediate social circle. Sharing on portals like Twitter might be a good idea, but don't expect a response from there. To get feedback, you will have to fall back on the connections you communicate with regularly. 6. Accept rejection gracefully. Build a framework to segregate disappointment from depression. We all are humans first and engineers later. Discuss the events of a field interview with your critics and summarize the action items, if any. If none can be spotted, just move on. Accept your limitations. 7. Take risks based on time and finances as major pivots. Understanding risk is an extremely valuable asset in decision making, no matter where and what you work on. Take time to understand how money works, educate yourself about finance, and build moats to protect yourself from bubbles and pandemic-like crises. 8. 
Utilize manager reviews as an opportunity to assess your career plan, update your resume, and explore new domains. Learn to document and communicate effectively in text-based formats. This is super critical at every stage of your career. An interview from an interviewer's perspective is an order one operation. Since the questions and answers are known, it is a fixed time formality kind of an activity. But for a candidate, it could be a polynomial complexity based on the years of experience, domain knowledge, educational background, roles held in the past, and preparation ranging from reversing a linked list to reverse engineering the Big Bang. Be considerate and don't burn yourself out in the process. And finally, some food for thought. 80% of the hardship in the last 10 years of your career are directly correlated to the coherence and continuity of opportunities or resources chosen or available in the first 20% of your career. Do not invest more than six weeks on interviewing in a year as far as possible. Building value over the existing workload is exhausting enough. So just hanging out on interview portals is a recipe for burnout. See you in the next segment.